Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 44 of MC Eternal. Uh, so, last episode we, we reviewed everything here. This is pretty much a done build. Like, I'm not going to mess with this anymore. It works great. I just want to emphasize how good these 10-10-10 tier 5 crops are. You ready? When I right-click this thing, I got 21 Inferium Essence. And when I right-click this one, it's, it's another 10-10-10. It's a little bit randomized. I got 22. So, <laughs> two of these gave me almost a stack. <laughs> and look, it's already grown again. Oh, now I have over a stack. Oh, now I have a stack and a half. Oh, well, I technically a stack and a third. But still, you get the point, right? So, like, those those mystical agriculture crop growy dudes down there, super powerful. Uh, I think in our future, we're going to be doing a lot more with mystical agriculture, right? Like, I think that's a fair assessment. Um... So, I mean, we absolutely need to do something with that. I need to figure out, like, how I want this to work, right? There's definitely things we can do that are going to be cool with Mystical Agriculture, being able to grow it that fast, uh, and other things, right? So, what I'll probably do is expand this farm in something of an intelligible way, uh, and uh, and kind of go from there. So, let's, let's consider that as an option, right? But today I want to look at rats. That's my plan. Um, so I've, I've got a few things on the docket. First off, I want to check out the Rat Upgrade Combiner. So we, we, we previously made the Avatar of Ratlantis. As we know, it requires a lot of stuff. Uh, and the Avatar of Ratlantis is used not only for the Rat Upgrade Combiner, which we just made, but it's also used for some of the really powerful Rat Upgrades, like the Non-Believer. 1,000 base Rat Health, 100 base Rat Armor, 100 base Rat Attack. <laughs> I, I, I want to try it out. What can I say? Uh, we probably also want to get the uh, the rat upgrade archaeologist. That would probably be a really important upgrade to get because what that does is it allows us to hand our rats items and they will convert them into other items. Actually, I probably, in fairness, should have used instead of the rat upgrade combiner. I should have gotten this one first, but that's okay. We'll manage to figure it out. Um, ooh, that's cool. Basic Ratlantean upgrade, Pirate Hat, Ratlantean Spirit Flames, Rat Togas. So there's definitely some things that we can get. Uh, now some of these things we got via, like, killing the, the Feral Ratlanteans, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's, let's, let's look at what we need to do. So we have rats, right? Let's, let's actually, I want to get the Archaeologist upgrade for sure, right? So we're going to need a, another Avatar of Ratlantis. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, so we're going to need another Arcane Technology, another Pirate Hat, another Psionic Rat Brain. Wow, we need a lot of things, don't we? Uh, I really shouldn't have, shouldn't have done what I did, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll be fine. Rat Glove Petals should be all right there. All right, so that's cool. Right. Uh, remember those rat glove petals. You can just bone meal in the in the Ratlantean dimension, and you'll be fine. Um, gem of Ratlantis shouldn't be too big of a problem. I thought that was this guy, though. No. Yes. Cool. But now we need another one of these. So I'll need to go do some bone mealing out in that there dimension. Uh, so that has the gem of Ratlantis covered. The psionic rat brain is a drop from one of the rat bosses. Uh, the pirate hat. Do we not really have any pirate hats? We'll have to go get some more of those um, in the in there. And the Arcane Technology, know where to get that too, right? So there's the two uh, bosses from the rats. So we need to kill them for sure, right? So what I'm thinking I'm going to make is an, is an Ender Bow and, and see how well that works out. Um, so I taught this thing how to make skeletal doohickeys. Hopefully that's straightforward enough. We're going to need a couple Infinity Rod things. Um, so for that, we're going to need some sticks and we're going to need some... Some dark steel. And uh, that should get us these dudes. Bada bing, bada boom. So I don't know I don't know exactly the difference between the ender bow and the dark bow, right? Right, so there's the dark bow, which like there's no attribute on here that tells me how much damage it does, but the ender bow seems better. It has a more power capacity. Um, but I, I mean, it doesn't actually require anything much more expensive. Like the the recipe for this is no harder than the dark steel bow, right? Like the dark steel bow, just it's like the same recipe except instead we just like that's easy. That's not hard. So I don't know why this is like all that much better. Uh, but we're definitely gonna want uh, some upgrades, right? So we're gonna want like you know quite a few upgrades to this dude. I don't know what all upgrades the uh, ender bow can get aside from like your standard capacitor dudes, but. We'll figure it out. 
And then we're going to want a vibrant dude, right? So we can combine that with some emeralds to get uh, to get the things. So all the craftings is happening, which is cool. I love when all the craftings happen. Super good times. Nice. All right, so let's get... Let's get out, uh, let's see here. So you guys are gonna chill here for a minute. Actually, no. Is my Vibrant almost done? Didn't I ask for a Vibrant? Yeah, there it is, he is done, cool. All right, so then you guys, we're gonna have four of you, right? So I need you combined with one of these. So we want one of you, one of the basics, one of the doubles, and one of the octodicks, right? And then we want maximum power. I guess that's because I crafted the rat upgrade combiner? Probably yes. Sweet. Um, let's get out our uh, enchanting tome of knowledge. So my plan overall is twofold. One, I want rats that will defend my base from the onslaught of enemies that happens at night, right? With the nightmare dimensions opening up, and uh, that's what happened to my sheep, right? Like the nightmare mobs came and stole all my sheep. That was not cool. I need rats that are going to defend us. So basically what I'd like to do is use the rat upgrade combiner to make my rats that are doing jobs for me, like the shearing rat and the farming rats, also have defensive capabilities. So whenever they see an enemy nearby, they will kill them rather than let them attack our stuff. And I want to try that out. I don't know. We'll see. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. We'll find out, right? And, uh, you know, if it doesn't work out, we also have the turrets mod we can play with. Let's not forget about that. So that'll that'll be a thing. All right, so with all these guys configured, right, we're going to install one, two, three, four upgrades. What other upgrades do we have? Just Pocket Anvil and Empowered 5. So just for giggles, what does Empowered 5 look like? Because I'm actually not sure what the Empowered 5 upgrade requires. Uh, it just needs a Tormented Enderman head. I love Tormenting Endermans. Let's do it. Do you know how to make bottles of water? Oh. But I'm going to stick this in the Slice and Splice. So what do you need to make that happen? Just two bottles of water? What I'm going to do is quickly get two bottles of water from somewhere uh, and just put that in the thing and then at some point in the future we'll automate that but we don't need to do that just yet though it shouldn't be hard don't we already have a transposer that does this we have a transposer for water don't we or is that lava ah that's a lot of things i just broke by mistake bad direwolf don't do those things uh it is a transposer for water oh okay yeah no that's cool that's cool what did you have? That was there, and that was there, and you guys probably did something important. I have a sink in my inventory. That's not a good sign. Boy, oh boy. What did we do? What did we do? Dire wolf. I think we did that. And then we had this. And then we had... that okay crisis averted so we could easily add the bottle of water thing into this thing and that would be cool let me add that real quick do you know how to make bottles you don't so let me teach you that uh no that's the what is this stuff blood bottle from vampirism no thanks i will pass i will pass on that thank you very much and then we'll take this dude and make it this and then we can say over here, so I will automate this now. I lied. I lied about not, um, I mean, you know, I'm a liar. What do you want from me? Uh, fluid transposer for water. That would be that. So now when we do Enderman head, you know how to make the bottles of water. So we should be cool. We'll just put these dudes away. And he's crafting the solarium, which means he'll craft the tormented Enderman head, which means one more of these blank upgrades would be a good time. Sweet. So that crafting should complete in a moment. 
and we'll have a really powerful bow that will hopefully, uh, I assume, can also be enchanted uh, with all the good things that you would want to enchant a bow with, like, you know, unlimited arrows and whatnot. So I'm going to guess 20 levels is what you need. Correct, direwolf. You are correct about that, sir. Dun, 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 dun. Powering up now. Booyah. Empowered five. That is cool. Uh, can the dark bow be empowered up to five? I hear terrible things happening. What are those terrible things? So this guy can be empowered four. This guy can also be empowered four. Aha! I think that's the difference. I think that's the difference. The dark armor can only be empowered up to four. Can this stuff be all empowered five? It can. So this stuff can all be empowered up to five. That's the main difference. That's the main difference. I'm sure like the ender armor and stuff can also like get some other upgrades. But okay. What's going on outside? What's up, buddy? How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Direwolf and I have arrows. Uh, let's get uh, Infinity. Right? Um, and this Infinity Booster card, if I put you in there, 100 energy units. Eh, it's not, not great, not terrible. Uh, we're going to get the Infinity book, and I would definitely like the Power 5 book. And is there anything else we want to put on a bow? Not that I can think of. So it's Flint, right? So let's get um, two written books, one, two. We're going to want a stack of flint, basically. I might need more than that. I'm hoping we have lots of gravel. We have enough. Uh, and then we're going to want lapis. And whatever we need for the infinity enchant. Uh, an eye of ender for that one, or grains of infinity times four. That is super cheap. Not that I'm complaining. Where's that? Where's, 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 my, where's my enchanter? I did make one of those, didn't I? I'm sure I did at some point. I just don't know where it is. Oh, found it. It was in here. Cool. So you go in here with this. And that's 17 levels. Okay. And then these guys are 33 levels. Right, and then uh, to add you to here, Mr. Infinity, is four. And six. And hopefully Infinity, boom, nice, means that I don't have to actually have an arrow in my inventory. Remember, I think that's a vanilla thing, and I don't know if that's ever been changed, but you need an arrow in your inventory for Infinity to work. Oof, oof. Did you see that oof? That was a good oof. Wow, did that really do 34, 31? Holy cow. Is that how much damage that thing's doing? Shut man against. Uh, I like this bow. Yes, please. More bow. <laughs> that is that is a gorgeous bow right there. Holy cow. I love it. I like this bow. Thank you. My bow is better than yours, skeleton. Way better. Way better. What are you doing in my base, little thief? You see that flick shot? Sniper dire. Mending, huh? I mean, I've got so many enchanted books. I probably could have looked to see what enchanted books I've got. Quick draw, huh? What's that do? It triples the speed that your draw bow draws up to full power. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, please. I definitely like the idea of that. What other what other books do we have? Eternal Compass, Wither, Fire Shield, Burnerang, Smelting, Sweeping Edge. I think Quick Draw sounds like a good time, right? Sweeping Edge. Hmm. Reduces the distance from which 
creatures detect you. That sounds cool. XP boost, huh? Imbuement, huh? Part of the imbue weapon spell. Unobtainable in survival mode. The book won't work. Okay. Got it. Venom, excavation, bramble, frost, imbuement, magnetic. Ooh. The drops from the blocks you mine with a tool that has a magnetic enchant. I assume that doesn't work on, like, a bow, right? Okay. Efficiency, bonus package, quick draw again, curse of haunting, sharpness, auto smelt, magnet three, soulbound decay, life leech. I wonder if life leech. Leeches life points from your target on attack and even more on kill. I mean, I wonder if that works on bows. Generally, that kind of thing doesn't work unless you, like, swing your bow at them and hit them like that, right? Generally. Unless the enchant is specifically designed to work with a bow. So seven experience, huh? I want to try this out. Wow, that's awesome. I like it. I like it, Sam. I am. All right. This is my new favorite toy. We're going to go uh, pop over to um, the Ratlantean dimension and do some bone mealing. I might want even a little bit more bone meal. Uh, I should consider whether I need to automate this or not at some point. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is come back in uh, in a short moment. Hey, what are you doing here, little buddy? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. He probably went through the portal, to be fair. Um, do I have a sickle of some kind? Maybe I can do that. I mean, how much... Exp how yeah, no, it definitely uses infinite energy. That was more of a test than anything else. I wanted to make sure that config option, right? The one that's like, you know. But yeah. How are you supposed to get home from the Ratlantian dimension if you don't have a teleporter, by the way? I don't know that I've ever asked that question. If I don't, if I didn't have this, how am I supposed to get home from Ratlantis? When I die, I come back to my base, but that's not a good way to get home. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. Do I have to build a portal on the other side? Because it didn't build one for me, as we know. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, I would love a sickle. That's the extra utility. I always forget which one of these is cool. I think I'm going to go with uh, the thermal one. We'll see if that works. Hopefully that's a good one. And if not, we could always go with like one of these cool guys. Man, we have so many mods to look at still, too. I want to look at Nightmare. I want to look at Between Lands. But I definitely want to have like rats protecting my base from enemies so I can set my sheep farm back up. And then also, wow, what am I doing all the way up here? Where am I? This is not this is not where I expect to be. Hey look, it's one of these places. Okay, let me uh I don't know why I teleported to a weird place, but we're gonna try that a little bit. We're gonna retry this. Okay, that's where I expect to be. Alright, let me get uh the bone mealing and stuff going. Oh rip! I mean, it works on everything except... That's a shame. That's a shame right there. Oh well, we'll be back shortly. So I'm going to quickly fly around Ratlantis at night. Let's see, is that my... Oh yeah, there you go. Hello, Night Vision. Thank you. Oh, please. Gotcha. Yay. Uh, I want to get another pirate hat. Uh, so let me, let me find some of those rat pirate dudes and we'll... Hey, there's one. Hey, buddy. Hello. I would like to... I would like to have one of your hats, please. And we'll be back in a few minutes once I've gotten at least one or two of those. What is this thing over here? This, like, glowy bit. Oh, is that just... Oh, it's probably just because the... Okay. It's just glow from the... Palmcraft crystals. Uh, back in a few. All right, we're back home. Sweet. I like that. Uh, so if we take a look at the rats mod, do I actually have... I do have... I got one. I thought I would have more of these because I killed a lot of those pyro rats, but I did find one out there. Uh, but as a reminder, they do need to also be repaired. So let's energetic infuser this guy up uh, and speed that process up just a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. And also to speed it up a little bit, let's give you a little bit of boosted help. Nice. Uh, you, there you go. Perfect. 
Perfect, perfect. Maybe there's some, nope, nothing in there. All right, well, that's okay. So we can at least get our uh, part of what we need. So there's the Avatar of Atlantis piece that we need. We just need the psionic rat brain and the arcane technology. All right, cool. So for this, remember uh, the Ratlantian automation head, we need to do that bit. Uh, and then we also have to uh, make the potion that will uh, cure, cure the dudes, right? So the psionic rat brain comes from the rat that we cure, the feral rats that attack us and fly around. That was the more dangerous mob. And then the uh, Ratlantean Automation Core, the arcane technology comes from the Ratlantean Automation Core um, that we can make, right? So that is uh, this guy, Ratlantean Automation Core. Needs one of those gems, which we can make another one of luckily because we're gonna need this in a minute. And remember the gem of Atlantis, we can give one emerald to a rat once we get the archeologist upgrade, right? So we're gonna need this dude and the head to make the, the robot dude. And then we need the, 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 the potion that we throw to cure them, right? The vial of consciousness. Uh, let's see what we need for that. Oh, we can make one, good, sweet. Um, so we want a mob imprisonment tool real quick. And we want the one that has, that's a pie rat, that's a wizard dude. And that's a Ratlantian spirit. So I'm guessing, let's take a nap, because we definitely don't want to fight these dudes during the day. That would be a bad time. Or, or during night, I mean. Um, but over here, I'm guessing what's in here is the feral rats, right? Yes, feral Ratlantian. So we can spawn one. Okay, with you turned off though, please. Active on redstone. Man, those feral Ratlanteans are feral. Okay, so we'll start with uh, the feral Ratlantean, right? Because that's what we've got the components for. So uh, let's have our wand at the ready. Yeah, buddy. Lightning web. Oh, that's such a cool spell. Uh, font of Vitality. That's the one that gives us regen to absorption to. Totally a good spell to use for this. Um, and I think what we were doing was over somewhere we had like a nice encased area. Now, now could I probably spawn this inside the mob spawning room and kill him? Yes. Do I really want to do that? Not really. And I want to make sure I kill him with my looting three sword. So yes, I have a cool bow I could use to probably snipe him pretty good right now, but we want to be careful. Right? We want to be careful about this. Oh, it's dark. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, so we're going to release this dude, and then we're going to fight the feral Ratlantean in a nice, protected area. Neo Ratlantean, go! I whittle him down with this bow because it's really good. And then we're going to finish him off with the sword. Boom! Not so bad. Control, please. Alright. Alright. That's cool. So fighting him inside a trapped room is definitely the way to do it. Him flying around when we did that the first time, not easy. But that got us the psionic rat brain, right? So that's another piece of the Avatar of Atlantis. Uh, and as a reminder, we need another rat glove petals because we just used them for something, and that's pretty cool. All right, so then the last piece is the arcane technology, right? And that is going to be the Ratlantean automation core and the Ratlantean head. And I need to remember, I think... Options, controls, what's the achievements hotkey? It's L by default, isn't it? Okay, we'll just have to open up achievements this way. So there was a rats mod and cool. So we did craft a Ratlantian automation core. Uh, place a Ratlantian automation head on top and surround the core with marbled cheese. 
Marble cheese. Okay. Marbled cheese. This is the one that we build kind of like uh, a wither, right? That's what we discovered. Is this was the wither style build? Kind of like a wither. Yep, hello. Oh boy. He 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 became a yellow dude. That's bad times. Shut him down real quick. At least he's yellow and not... Ouch. I said too late. <laughs> At least he's yellow and not... Oh, dead. Speaking of pearls. Let me just get back to my corpse that much quicker. Where is he? He's still around, clearly. Because I see... His boss thingy. But where for art thou? Remove my death point. Where are you, Atlantean Automation? Where? What's down here, by the way? This little light source down here. Oh, this is cool. There's like a little house under there. Neat. So he's definitely around here somewhere, but I can't find him. What happened to him? Dude, he totally one-shot me. I can hear him. Is he down there? <gasps> He's trapped in my hole. Nice. Oh, he's angry. Ouch. Where's my staff? There you are. Ouch. Ouch again, I say. Man, he hurts. Even with all my armor and protection, he hurts. Oh boy, that's not good. Uh... Ouch. He just wrecked my face. Oof! Does he hurt? Oof! Does he hurt? <laughs> That's a bad place to be. He is. He is. He is just a painful little dude to, to mess with. Let me get my inventory sorted properly, because boy, is this a mess that he's making down there. All right, we want good food. Why are you not equipped properly? I don't know, probably because of you. Okay, let's try and let's try and finish him off, right? Waypoints, remove, 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 all the death points. I know, everybody's loving watching me die, I know it. See, this is what I get for trying to kill him with looting. I mean, if I, if I killed him at a distance, I'd be fine. Got him! He dead. We killed each other at the same moment. Did I get... I did get the arcane technology. Woot! Woot! That means an avatar of Atlantis. Woot. Goodness, is that guy hard. Oof! Does he hurt. Stay away from him. Pro tip. Pro tip. Stay away from him. All right, now I can get the archaeologist upgrade, right? So to get... Put all this stuff away for a sec. Archaeologist upgrade requires um, a shovel and a pickaxe and the archaeologist hat, which I can repair one of. I have one from something. I have no idea. Rare drops from husks or skeletons in jungles. Haha. -ha. Cool beans.
All right, needs a little bit more essence of knowledge for the repair. Thank you. And there's your archaeologist hat. So now we just need the upgrade, which should be doable. Beautiful. Now we get uh, one of our rats out of our rat uh, sack. We have four rats in there at the moment. Uh, we should really we should really consider a better little home for our rats than we had previously. Uh, I don't know exactly where I want this to live, but what I'm going to do is put all you guys right in there. Cool. And now I can. Oh, that releases all four. So you, sir, can have the rat upgrade archaeologist, right? Hey, little buddy. What is it, left click? How do I put him down again? There he is. Aw, oh, he doesn't get a little outfit. I really hoped he did. I don't see a little outfit on him for being an archaeologist. Cool. But now, if we want to get some of these things that are harder to get, right, that'll even give me a basic Ratlantian. That's cool. I kind of want to check that out next next episode for sure. But we can get the Ratlantian Spirit Flames from him. We can get the Togas from him. We can get the Feral Rat Claws from him. Uh, we can get Cheese Cannonballs and Cutlass. We can get Rat Pelts. We can get Marbled Cheese. So basically, all the things that we have to go to Ratlantis to get, we can get. Ooh, and we can also get the blue orchids from him. Nice. Okay. So let's test this out with an emerald. Right? Because we're a little bit low on them, and we've been using a lot of these, right? But I give that to him, and he will craft it into the appropriate item for me. Thanks, little buddy. You're the best. Quest completed. Gem of Ratlantis. Closer to godliness. That is cool. Uh, what quest line was that under, anyway? Let me put you away. Boop. Actually, before I put you away, I want the uh, upgrade back. Thanks, buddy. All right, you go away for now. Uh, what I do want is maybe a little bit more, a little bit more breeding. Get me some more baby rats. And I'm gonna put this thing away for the time being. So that is your archaeologist upgrade, which is cool beans. Let's look at our quests real quick and figure out like what quests that completed for me. So I got the gem of Ratlantis, which is cool. Ooh, delighted meal. Don't mind if I do. Those are those are good times. Um, and then visit dimension Ratlantis. Yeah, we did that. Uh, rat on arrow. Cool. Oh, I needed the... Oh, no, that's just visiting it. Okay, neat. Rat on arrow, huh? Interesting. Interesting. But uh, let's see what else quest-wise we've completed by mistake. So magic and spell casting. I got the, the vampire teeth thing. Vampirism guide, huh? That's cool. Introduction to science. Uh, we made the overclockers. Remember, we did that a couple episodes back. There's a handful of recipes that we can probably do. I know there's like a collect all rewards thing, but I kind of like going through and seeing all the rewards I got. Super lubricant boots from random things. Wearing super lubricant boots makes you glide over blocks without friction as if you were working on super lubricant ice. Lubric lubricant? Isn't that with an A? Lubricant? That's why I'm, that's why I'm pronouncing it lubricant. Good times. All right, uh, and then mystical agriculture. Oh, all our essences. Neat. Good times. All the rewards. All right, so that's quests that we just completed. Uh, so we've got the rat upgrade archaeologist, which is cool. We've got the rat upgrade combiner, which is cool. Um, I think next episode what we do is we come back, we get our rats equipped for some powerful stuff. Uh, hopefully they can help defend my base from all the awfulness that is out there. Uh, attacking it frequently and at the same time death death uh, I'm going to have like a combined rat upgrade so that the rats can have multiple upgrades at once and I don't know if there's a limit to how many upgrades Ooh, look at that that is cool rat upgrade combiner interesting we have to look at how this works so like I mean I assume you just place two upgrades in there and it'll become an upgrade right I guess I don't know. Maybe we need a gem of Ratlantis 
as fuel, quote unquote. That's what it looks like, right? Doesn't look like a gem of Atlantis equals fuel. So we take an upgrade here, we take an upgrade here, and we give it a gem of Atlantis and it'll combine into like a totaled upgrade. I don't know. For now, that's my sign off. We're going to figure this out next episode. Take it easy.